in the previous video, we saw how to create a basic CSS grid and we did this using the display property and the grid template columns property. With CSS grid, there is also a property that you can use in order to set the size of your rows. Using the grid template rows property, with this property you can set the size of the row tracks. So if you go to CSS and target the grid container, I know that it is a grid container because we set its display property to grid. So within this declaration block, let's type in grid template rows and now let's set for example a value of 400 pixels. You can notice that the first line has a height of 400 pixels. If you set a value of 300 pixels instead of 400 pixels, now this track has a size of 300 pixels. Now if you had multiple lines, the other line's height will have a value of auto. That's because we have not set the size of the row tracks explicitly using the grid template rows. So let's go to our HTML file and add new grid items. And now the first row track has a height of 300 pixels and the second row track has a height of auto. But if we go to grid template rows property and add another value, for instance a value of 500 pixels, this value will give a height of 500 pixels to the second row track. So let's try another value. Great. The grid template columns property and the grid template rows property accepts any length value. For instance, here in the grid template column, instead of setting this value, we can set a percentage value. So 25% will create a column track with a width of 25%. We can also use a value of M's. So let's try this value. Great. 